Hello and welcome back to my channel, um, Lori's Little Life. My name is Lori, obviously. Um, I'm going to take you through, I'm refreshing my goals for the second half of 2022. So I'm going to start by kind of reviewing the goals I had set up for June because we're here at the end of June. So these are the goals I had set up for June. Um, I'm not going to go through all of these because most, some of these I met film and publish a video, read a book, weekly planner spread. I um, have a new job that I'm going to be starting in August. I've recorded my spending. I did not keep up with my journaling, as you'll see in just a few minutes. Um, I did not get my closet cleaned out either. All right, so this is a Moxie Life Flagship Planner. And I use it for, I use the goal setting sections of it. And then I, as you'll see, I do not use the monthly spread. And I use, of course I fell behind at the end of May and 1st of June, but I use the weekly spreads to journal. So what I do is I, I set up my goals, I decorate and journal, and of course, I like I said, I've, I've fallen behind in June and I'm working on getting caught up. So here's another one that I set up and didn't journal yet. I'm going to go back and do that. Okay, so now we have um, the weekly actions. This is kind of how I use this. I set up my weekly actions, and then at the end of the week, I go back and reflect on kind of how I did. I do This week I used wins, what worked, what didn't work, and adjustments. And I look to see how I did here and I reflect on this side of the page. And then I use this information when I move forward to set my next week's goals. So here's another page that I set up for journaling. And these are the current goals for this particular week of June 27th through July 3rd. I've already set up the goals. I made some changes, kind of got a little bit more specific. Um, at the end of the week, I change the reflection. I do three, two, one, three things that went well, two things that I learned this week, and one adjustment to make. And so I'm gonna do this at the end of the week in order to reset my goals for next week. Okay. Here's another page that I've set up to journal. And like I said, I'm trying to get caught up because I really fell behind in May and in May and June. They were just busy months and I just really fell behind. All right, um, the next thing I'm gonna show you is my monthly reflections for June. I have already done those. I kind of try to do those because I have to, it takes me some time to do these because I really have to think and reflect. And then my overall satisfaction for this month was a five. It is also at the end of June, this is a quarterly goal system. So at the end of every quarter, you do a reset and a refresh. So that's, I've already done that. And I kind of wanted to show you how I do that in here. This is the quarterly compass that is in the Moxie Life. At the beginning, this is what it looks like when it is completely blank. Okay, so what I did was I took this out of the companion notebooks and then I, every quarterly reset, I go through and fill out this little assessment scoring page. The quarter, the Moxie Life flagship doesn't have you do that, but it kind of just lets you just get a feeling of how you're doing, but I like to go back and do this every quarter. So what I, I just kept this blank and then on the back side of my compass, I set up a little, just a little grid system with each one of the eight categories. And I go through and I just rate myself as you can see and then average it out. So I go back and do this every single quarter. And then I take these values, these number values, I just averaged each one of these sets out and I use that to complete the new compass for the new quarter. I put the, I changed this so that the previous scores go first, current scores are second. As you can see during the second quarter, my scores kind of went down overall. And it's because I got busy and I quit focusing on the habits and the goals and 
didn't, I kind of stepped away from this for a little bit, but now I'm jumping back in, ready to go. Okay, the next thing is after I did this, I did my rule of reflections down here, used that. The next thing is I used this information to look at July goals. Again, I don't use the monthly spread. I haven't found a use for that yet because this is more of a um, goal setting journaling type planner for me. All right, so here are my July goals that I've set up based on my compass reflection. Now, what I do is what I did was I took this July goals information and I put it on the dashboard page. This is an this is an EC um, Aaron Condren vertical planner. Just a very it's the what's my type for and it goes through December, so I'm gonna continue using it. But I made I used the dashboard page. And the opposite of the das dashboard page to put my monthly goals. Um, I also include my word of the year on every on the dashboard page. I also put it on every weekly spread in my planner because I like to remind myself that's what my word of the year is. And if I go back, let me move back to the boxy that's where I did all the pre-work at the beginning of the year. Let's see. So my word of the year. So this is all the pre-work that I did at the beginning of the year, the first time I did the assessment. My word for 2022 is thrive, to be healthy and strong, to be brave and try new things. And so I try to include this in everything I do. And then I also went back and looked at my um, annual goals and my vision board. This is my vision board for 2022. Um, I wanted to start a YouTube channel, hence the video I'm making right now. I wanted to read daily, done that. Um, we're probably not gonna take a vacation this summer because my husband has a new job. Um, Bible study, I have not done as well in this as I wanted to. Um, debt, pay down debt and watch our spending, I've done that. Um, this, I have been an administrator for five years and now I'm going back to the classroom and this was one of my goals at the beginning of January was to make that transition back to the classroom which I have a position and that's what I'm gonna do and I'm excited. All right, so let's go back. So I've got my July goals ready and I am ready to go for the second half of 2022. I fell off during quarter two, but quarter three, I'm ready to get back into it and really get going on some of these things. All right. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe to the channel. If you have any criticism or constructive criticism to make my videos better, I would appreciate it because I am a new, brand newbie to YouTube. Bye.